What's up, you guys? This is Nikhail Wallace with TheDrumBreakdown.com, and today we're doing a lesson number three in my five-minute drum series where I take you from knowing absolutely nothing about playing drums to being able to play your first set of drum grooves and drum fills. Today we're going to learn our first drum fill. All right, so a drum fill is just a little short uh, rhythmic phrase that breaks up a drum groove and, and helps the song transition from section to section. If you haven't watched the first two lessons, be sure to go back and watch those before we jump into this one. It's going to be really important. Before we get started, if you've really been enjoying these lessons, uh, do me a favor and hit me up in the comments section, uh, hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel so you can get more notifications of future lessons. So the drum fill we're going to be learning today is called Pat Boone Debbie Boone. <laughs> So in drumming, you're going to find that we uh, use little funny names because the syllables in those names help us remember how the rhythm is supposed to be played. In this case, Pat Boone Debbie Boone is going to be played exactly how we say it. All right. Pat Boone Debbie Boone. Pat Boone Debbie Boone. So we're going to do one hit for every syllable of the name. So, so do it along with me a couple of times. Pat Boone Debbie Boone. Pat boom debbie boom so before i show you how to play this drum feel i'm going to tell you i'm going to show you how to count it so if you can't tell by now i'm really big on saying things with our mouth because again if you can say it you can play it all right so here it is we're going to count our eighth notes like we have been doing since the beginning in lesson number one all right but the only difference is we're going to stop halfway through it's going to sound like this one and two and and then we're going to stop Instead of saying three and four and, we're going to insert Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. All right. So let's put it together. It sounds like this. One and two and Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. All right. I'll do it one more time. One and two and Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. All right, so once you're comfortable counting your eighth notes and inserting Pat Boone, Debbie Boone in there, we're going to move over to the drum set and uh, play that same groove that we learned back in lesson two. All right, if you don't remember how that goes, we play a straight eighth notes on our hi-hat with our dominant hand. We play every two and four on the snare drum with our non-dominant hand. And we play every one and three on our bass drum foot. We're going to play our groove, but we're going to stop halfway through just like we counted it. It's going to sound like this. One and two. Once you stop the groove halfway through, we're going to move both of our hands down to the snare drum and we're going to play Pat Boone, Debbie Boone, alternating our hands. It'll sound like this. Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. Once you get comfortable playing each piece, playing the groove halfway through, and then coming over and playing Pat Boone, Debbie Boone on the snare drum, we're going to put both of those pieces together very smoothly. It'll sound like this. One and two. And Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. One and two and Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. One and two and Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. One and two and Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. If you don't have a drum set, don't worry. You can practice this just like we did the groove in lesson two on our hand with our hands and our knees and a good hard floor. You can do it like this. One and two and Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. One and two and Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. So as always, practice this very slowly and over and over again. The more you practice, the more you do it, the better and better you're going to get. And once you're comfortable with this, you'll be ready to jump on to lesson number four. All right. See you soon.